What are chain isomers? This type of isomerism is due to the difference in the arrangement of the carbon atoms in the, uh, you know, the main uh, chain of a molecule. Let me explain the chain isomerism with the help of a C4 molecule, C4H10. C4H10, we can have different sequences in the carbon atoms. For example, if all the carbon atoms are in one chain, or you have you got three carbon atoms over here, and then you have one more carbon attached to the central carbon here. These are the two arrangements possible for the C4H10. So these are the two chain isomers of the C4H10. You know, this will be the CH3, CH2, CH2, and this is CH3. This is called the normal butane and butane over here. Well, as this one will be called as 2-methyl propane because you have here CH3, CH3, CH, and the CH3 here. This is 2-methyl propane or isobutane, right? Common name is isobutane because there are four carbon atoms. You can also call it as a 2-methyl propane. So these two are chain isomers. All right. Now we can draw the chain isomers of the C5H12, the 5-carbon alkane, which is actually a pantane, right? So you can have five different, you know, we can, you can have different arrangements for this C5 molecule. Either we can have all the carbon atoms linearly, you know, arranged there, five carbon atoms. So this is the normal pentane and pentane, or you can have the four carbon atoms over here, and you can attach uh, one more carbon atom to the carbon number second. Or you can have a one more arrangement. You have, you know, let's say the three carbon atoms, and then you have a carbon here and the carbon here. Okay, so these will be the three chain isomers of the C5 H12 molecule. So this will be the normal pentane CH3, CH2, this is CH2, CH2, and the CH3, and this is CH3, CH, CH3, H2, and H3. This is CH3, H3 here, H3 and H3. This is N pentane, N pentane, and this one is isopentane, and this one will be called the neopentane. So all of these are the chain isomers. Chain isomerism is not possible for the hydrocarbons from C1 to C3. You know, if you have a C1 or C2 or C3 molecule, you cannot have the different arrangements, correct? Suppose you got here the ethane, you cannot have any other arrangement to the ethane. Or you have a propane, you cannot draw any other different structure than this one. Chain isomers are possible for the molecules which have four carbon atoms or more than that. As the number of carbon atoms increase, the number of chain isomers also increase. Just we discussed here that for the C4 molecule there are two uh, chain isomers. For the C5 we have drawn here three, right? So for the five carbon molecule we got three chain isomers and for six or seven, like that, you know, as the number of carbon atoms increase, the number of chain isomers will also increase. But there's no particular formula by which, you know, you can actually calculate the number of isomers, chain isomers in a molecule. Let's discuss these three molecules over here. We find that in the three molecules, we have the same number of carbon atoms, right? You know, you got here six in the one in the main chain and there are the two carbon atoms as a substituent group. All right, so total here is eight. Here also you got the eight carbons, here also you got the eight carbons. But they have, they have the different structures, right? You can see here, the, if you compare the first molecule with the second one, in the main carbon chain, there are six carbon atoms, all right? six carbon atoms and you have here 
you got here you know uh, the C2 molecule as a substitution group. Here in this case you have two carbon atoms as substitution groups at the two different positions. So this, you know the first and the second molecule these are the chain isomers. If you compare the first one with the third again you can see there are six carbon atoms here one, two, three, four, five, six. And you have two different carbon atoms at the two different positions. Here in this case, you got a CH2, CH3 molecule. And here you got the CH3 and the CH3. The substitution groups are different to the main chain. So these are the chain isomers. So first and second, these are the chain isomers. First and the third, are the chain isomers right these are the chain isomers and first and third are the chain isomers all right if you compare the second and the third one you know second and third what do you see there in the second and third we have the same number of carbon atoms in the main chain six here and six here and you have Similar substitution groups also. You know, you have the CH3 here and the CH3 here also. Okay. But the only difference is the position of these two methyl groups is different. All right. Here you have, you know, carbon number one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. All right. Over here you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So position of the two methyl groups in the second and the third is different. Otherwise, you have the same number of carbon atoms and same, you know, substitution groups attached. So we can say second and third are not the chain isomers, right? These are not chain isomers. Correct? Because in a chain isomer, you have different, you know, sequence of atoms in the chain and different, uh, you know, these substitution groups attached also. But in the second and third, we have same number of carbon atoms and same substituent groups attached to it. However, the position is only different. So they will be called as position isomers, right? So second and third, these are actually the position isomers. Hope you got it. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.